wearing a mask has become part of students' everyday routine. So even with San Jose Unified saying masks are optional, most students still masked up today. Across San Jose Unified's 41 schools, school officials and teachers say masks may now be optional, but they're still as common as backpacks. Students are between 85 and 90 percent are wearing masks, and uh, the majority of teachers are also choosing to continue wearing masks. And they don't expect things to change much, at least not too soon. It's not a transition. I think that's going to happen in, um, you know, overnight. I've had a couple elementary schools that have said, you know, there were a couple kids that came without a mask and then they saw that most everyone else was wearing one and then they put one on. But just next door, in 19 elementary schools and seven middle schools in Alum Rock School District, masks are still a rule, not an option. They have decided to keep the mask mandate till the end of the school year. Parents and kids we spoke to today don't seem to mind. I feel like it's going to keep us a little bit more safer. I'm actually really glad that the Alum Rock School District is keeping the mask mandate um, for our kids. I think that our my own son is still very nervous about COVID. Alum Rock was particularly hard hit by the pandemic, and many say they'd rather not risk another wave. So I think here we understand the implications, and we just want to make sure that everyone's safe. Alum Rock isn't alone. Franklin McKinley and Oakland Unified have also said they'll wait at least a few more weeks before lifting their mask mandates. In San Jose, Ginger Conajero-Sob, NBC Bay Area News.